Hey guys, welcome back to another Tea Time with Mon. And I'm just sipping on my tea, having a wonderful day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning or afternoon. <laughs> if this video is reaching you in the afternoon, wherever you're at, I hope you're having a wonderful day overall. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is a topic that I've talked about so many times before, but it's something I want to talk about because it's getting so ridiculous already. And it's the fact that women need to stop tearing each other down and start building themselves up, you know? It's ridiculous that this day and age that we are living in, that grown-ass women are acting like, not even high school girls, they're acting like elementary or freaking middle school girls, you know? And this is a topic that, pa that I'm so passionate about. Because the fact that this has been an ongoing battle in my life with girls, and now that I'm a grown woman, with women in my life, since I've been in middle school, since I've been in middle school, I've seen how freaking girls could be like so aggressively insecure of themselves. That they feel the need to tear other girls down, you know? And I don't know, man. When you're a little girl, that's acceptable, I guess. Because you don't know. Maybe your parents didn't teach you any better. Maybe your mother didn't teach you any better. But come on now. When you're a grown-ass woman and you're still acting and behaving this way, it's like, oh my God. Like, really? When is it gonna be like enough is enough you know when are these women gonna come to realize that an insecure woman seeks constant constant reassurance that she is beautiful valued and loved this is why you find insecure people to be such attention seekers they are looking for validation that they are acceptable as they are and it's, it's ridiculous, like, it's so ridiculous, because I just don't understand how women could go about life that way, could feel peace in their hearts with constantly having to tear other women down, just so that they could feel better about themselves. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it because honestly, I've, I don't think I've ever experienced that, you know? If, if I have maybe some insecurity because, look, we all have insecurities, okay? And not only women, men have tons of insecurities too. But I have never been in a position where I have been so insecure of myself that I have felt the need to just constantly be bringing down other women and gossiping about them and starting a, a drama against them. Like, I just don't, in my head, I can't, I can't understand it. I can't understand how someone can live like that, you know, like, there is nothing more beautiful than having peace in your heart and being at peace with yourself and with the world, you know. As long as you're in peace with yourself, then you are able to be in peace with everyone else because you have that peace within you. And I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand. I, I really don't get it. And you know what? Watch out for people who are always bragging about who they are. Okay? There's a saying that goes, a lion will never have to tell me that it's a lion. So just be careful about people that are always bragging about themselves. 
A real woman doesn't have to throw dirt on another female's name to feel more secure about herself. Confidence is silent. Insecurities are loud. And, you know, I don't know. I just, in my head, I just don't get it. Because this, this is how I see it. I compete with no one. If what I do threatens you, that's your problem. That's your problem to deal with, not mine. Not mine whatsoever. And, you know, sometimes I come to, to think about it and I'm like, you know what? I never gave anyone that I've had problems with before or whatever a reason to hate me. They're just creating their own little drama out of pure insecurity. And that's why I wanted to touch this subject today because the insecurity that is out there nowadays in women is so like intense and is so obvious that it's pathetic really it's really pathetic to see how insecure women out are out there that they feel the need to tear others down I just I don't understand I don't understand it. I really don't. Like I said, I've we all have our insecurities. You know, we all have our insecurities, but feeling the need to tear another woman down just I don't understand. I really don't see how that could make you feel better about yourself. I really don't. You know, and, and it comes to a point where you're like, look, do not get my confidence mixed up with your insecurity. Don't don't even, okay? The woman who does not require validation from anyone is the most feared individual on the planet. Think about that. Think about that for a moment. Think about that for a moment. Any woman who does not require validation from anyone is the most feared individual on the planet. And I think that I just answered my own question. Why are there so many insecure women in this world? Because when they come across another woman who knows how to carry herself, insecurities and all, but you know what? She keeps it she keeps it buried deep down inside and she doesn't let those insecurities dim who she is. You know, the way she carries herself. Sometimes it's not about the way you look. You guys, it's not about looks. You know, if I could reach to so many women out there who are going around just feeling down about themselves because they think that if they don't look a certain way, you know, if you don't act a certain way, you know, it's like you feel ugly, you feel fat, you feel skinny, you feel tall, you feel short. You always criticizing yourself about something, something that you feel so insecure about. And if a lot of women were to realize that it's not about the exterior, but it's about the way that you carry yourself, you know? And that's why I've come to realize that. I've come to realize that the problem is that when a woman that is insecure comes across another one, that feels that she doesn't require any validation from anyone. So she has this, you know what, fuck you attitude. I do me. I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with how I feel inside. I'm happy with the person who I turned out to be. And I carry myself with confidence. Okay? You don't need to be skinny or you know gorgeous or it's not the exterior that makes you beautiful it's what you have inside your heart you could be the most beautiful gorgeous woman in the world like appearance wise but if your heart is ugly that makes you ugly no matter what so it's not about that it's not about the physical appearance it's about how you carry yourself you know and that's why a woman that carries herself with confidence, no matter what, 
not giving a flying fuck about what other people think of her. That's why she's the most feared woman in the planet. Because she comes, because when an insecure woman comes across this type of woman and knows that no matter what she does or try every single book and every single trick in the book to tear her down and it doesn't work, it's like, whoa, how come I can't tear her down? How come I can't take her out? How come she's so strong? How come I keep throwing these fiery darts at her and yet they keep missing her? You want to know why? And I'm going to repeat myself again. Confidence comes from within. When you have that peace in your heart, that no matter what anyone throws at you, no matter what even the devil himself throws at you, if you have that peace in your heart and you are sure and confident of who you are inside, those things can't touch you. Those schemes and manipulations that others try to pull on you don't work because the woman that you're trying to attack the woman that you're trying to hurt and tear down does not budge no matter what you do it's because you've come across a woman who is a real woman who knows who she is who knows her purpose in life, who knows what she was put on this earth for, and that's to lift others up and not tear them down. And that woman realizes that no matter what people say or think of her, she has this <laughs> I don't give a fuck attitude about everything. And when you come to realize that, you know. No matter what they do, they just can't bring you down. They can't tear you down. They can't fuck with you no matter how hard they try. Listen up. A life filled with silly social drama and gossip indicates that a person is disconnected from purpose and lacking meaningful goals. People on a path of purpose don't have time for drama. It all begins and ends in your mind. What you give power to has power over you if you allow it. If you allow it. Confidence women don't hate. They simply don't hate. Women putting other women down is like telling the world that you are more worried about your competition than your own progress. And guess what? That's why most of these insecure women walking around trying to tear others down never progress in life. Are leaving are living sad, meaningless, empty lives because they dedicate their time to tearing other women down instead of worrying, worrying about their own lives and setting their mind in what really matters, which is their goals, their hopes and dreams. And you know what? I do not need your approval, darling. <laughs> That's for insecure people. I don't. I used to think that way so long ago, so many years ago. 
I used to think that people's approval was important until I came to realize how, who I am inside. And when I started to become sure of myself and not let my insecurities get to me anymore, over the years I have developed this I don't give a damn what people think or speak of me because I'm still going to continue to do me to be who I am. And that's what caused that seed of confidence to grow in me. And all insecurity just fades away when you train yourself to think and be and act that way. When you know who you are, you don't need anyone's approval. <laughs> you really don't. You don't. And let me tell you something. There's nothing more liberating in this world than when you come to that place of knowing that you don't need anyone's approval. No matter what. No matter what. And here's something that you need to realize. When other people treat you poorly, keep being you. Just keep being you. Don't ever let someone else's bitterness change the person you are. Because trust me, trust me when I say that other people's bitterness will take place and will grow that little seed in your heart. If you let it get to you, their bitterness is going to be transferred to you, okay? And you are going to feel that feeling of being drained with all this negativity that the other that the other person that's trying to bring you down you know what they're trying to accomplish in you you're going to start to feel it because they are trying to project those negative feelings that they have inside all that bitterness that they have inside they are trying to project it onto you because they don't want it they don't they can't deal with it they can't deal with that bitterness that they carry inside all the time so that's why they try to project it onto you that's why you have to guard your mind and your heart and and be strong be strong when it comes to people like that because people like that will stop at nothing to tear you down they will stop at nothing. But when they encounter someone who is strong and confident and sure of themselves, no matter what, okay, and they just tune out all the hate and all the drama and all the gossip and all the negative things that they are trying to throw at you or, or say about you or whatever, trust me, when you just tune it out and you do you and you focus on you, there's nothing in this world that could stop you from reaching your goals and dreams. Nothing. Not even the haters. Not even the insecure people that are out there. They can't stop your goals and dreams. Because when you stay focused, you accomplish your dreams and your goals. And there's nothing impossible when you set your mind to something and you don't give up. There is nothing impossible. And while you're focused, on your goals and dreams they are focused on their insecurities and their drama and their bitterness and their unhappy lives because at the end of the day these are people who have very unhappy empty lives and when they see that you are full of this life and these blessings that they want so bad they want to tear you down because they don't want you to enjoy the blessings that you have that they wish they had so you guys it's time for the real women okay not little girls 
the real mature women to come together and start building each other up instead of tearing each other down. Because you know what? We're not in elementary school anymore. We're not in middle school. We're not in high school. Okay? We are grown-ass women. And most of these women that I see acting this way are acting worse than these little teenage high school girls. Like, these are grown-ass women in their 30s and 40s and even 50s. And it's sad and pathetic. And, you know, enough is enough. When are we as women going to grow up and be like, that's it. I'm done with it all. I'm done with drama. I'm done with my insecurities. I'm done with trying to tear other women down. I want to build myself up. Not only build myself up, but build other women up. Okay? And fix their crowns. Fix other women's crowns. Other queens. Fix their crowns. Don't tear them down. Don't tear them down. Because you never know what other people are struggling with. Everyone has their own battles. So always remember to be kind. Be kind no matter what. Those who are unkind to you, it's just a reflection of what, of who they are and what they're carrying inside. Plain and simple, that's all it is. It's, it's not about you. It's about them and their insecurities. And I'm sorry, but that's not your problem to deal with. That's their own problem. Let them deal with their problems on their own. You do you and you keep focused and stay focused on your goals and dreams. That's all that matters. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tea time with Mon. <laughs> and I hope to see you again in my next video. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.